it's now the following morning and I was going to start work today by finishing this piece. That's the stage I left it at last night. Um, it's not going to take that long to finish, but I've become completely distracted by this big beast over here. Some of you may remember this piece from a previous vlog. Um, I think it was back in late April or something like that. And it has basically not progressed since. <laughs> I'm very sorry to say, because I would have hoped it would be done by now. But um, I basically have lots of projects on the go at any given time. And sometimes if they're taking too long or I get stuck on them, I put them aside and just leave them for a while. And that's what happened to this one. So I would really love to see this finished. I think it could be a fantastic painting. I hope I'm going to be able to do a good job. The first version, I think I mentioned this in the previous vlog. I'm not sure, but the first version um, basically went wrong. So I had to start all over again. And then I got busy with other projects and here we are in mid-June and it's still not finished. So I'm going to get to that today and also I'm going to be working on these palettes and I'm not going to be using them just for mixing colours. I'm going to be actually creating paintings on them. So I'll show you more of that when I've made a good start on it. In case you're wondering what this is doing down here, it's because I brought back a lot of things from my Suffolk studio the other week and um, I'm trying to integrate it gradually into this one here in Surrey. So at the moment we have quite a few things where they shouldn't be and to think I tidied this studio <laughs> only a few weeks ago. But as you can see, I have an awful lot of stuff in here which will eventually find a home. It will either be stored in here properly or it will be, um, it will go in my new office, which is going to be decorated hopefully sometime this year. We'll see, I need to find time to do that. But um, yeah, and I don't think, have I ever shown you into our hallway? We're in the middle of extensive renovations here. So this is why I don't share much of the rest of the house. But um, yeah, that's our very long hallway. And as you can see, there's a lot we need to do. I'm always kind of reluctant to show this because we are in such a muddle, but um, I think maybe it's interesting for you to see it because um, yeah, it's good to see behind the scenes and to see what we're starting with. So here's the view into my studio from the hallway. And as you can see, this was decorated in a fetching shade of acid yellow at some point in the past, which we will obviously be getting rid of. We think we're just going to paint the entire hallway a really lovely bright white and, um, oh, hello, fly. Um, yeah, as you can see up here, we need to replaster and there's a lot to sort out. I think it will look absolutely beautiful when we've done it because this house is, um, but it dates from 1901, so there are a lot of original features and I love these, like these big the door frames. I was going to call it an architrave. Is it an architrave? I don't know. Anyway, absolutely beautiful. Get to dry and I think we can call that one finished. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. It's exactly as I imagined it would be, which doesn't actually happen very often when you're working on pieces of art. Um, all too often things turn out differently to how you expect, whether that's good or bad, but um, this one I am so pleased with. I love the colours, I love the layers, I love the texture. I basically use the palette as you would if you were using it to create a painting. So I squeeze the paint out, several different colours as you can see. I try to stick to a fairly limited palette of um, dark grey and kind of an inky blue 
nudes and pinks with a little bit of white and um, I mixed it with a brush and a palette knife as I would normally and this is why you get all of these really interesting brush strokes and textures and um, yeah just let it dry layer by layer and here we are. <laughs> 